What up boys and welcome back to another video. So I've done a lot of these crafting videos because a lot of people are these days working under crafting tunes in order to make gold. And when I say crafting, I mainly uh, or only make gold on crafting with old content stuff. Like I don't craft any current content stuff like uh, legendary items and so on. I just focus on the old content stuff uh, and I've made a bunch of videos on that a lot of people have appreciated that uh, so I wanted to make this video that is uh, still crafting old content but like slightly different than just crafting the basic transmog so before we go into the details I do want to mention that this video is sponsored by myself and my gold guides so if you guys like are struggling to make gold on retail there's the zero to 10 million gold guide, or if you're still playing classic TBC or just simply want to get ahead when classic fresh uh, starts, I do have guides on all of those expansions. Uh, and if you use the code Shadowlands, you will get them for 50% off. So make sure to check them out in the uh, description down below or in the pinned comments. But in this video, as I said, I want to talk about old content crafting because there's a lot of people who have started doing that recently. But very few people are taking full advantage of the uh, old content crafting. So, for instance, on this tune right here, which has tailoring, I would obviously craft all of the transmog items that I don't have up on the auction house. Uh, but besides from that, I always make sure that I, uh, on top of having the transmog items up, have the materials themselves up like you got to look at the material themselves as you look on transmog they should always be up on the auction house so if we look at like the classic crafts you can see that uh, for instance i will make a lot of gold simply just buying fell cloth from the auction house crafting it into moon cloth and selling it as moon cloth so that's just an additional chance of getting sales making profit buying the mats, crafting into a different material, and then selling it for a profit. A side note from that is to always craft these shitty bags. I don't know why, but people buy like the Scenarion Herb bag, and they buy the Core Fell Cloth bag. It doesn't make sense, but they buy them, so you gotta sell them. And then if we move on to like Outland patterns, you can see that there's a lot of gold to be made, like with Primal Moon Cloth, Shadow Cloth, like this is 2000 gold profit on each craft like if i just were to buy the materials on the auction house crafting it into a primal moon cloth and then putting up on the auction house there's also no cooldown on these stuff on retail and the same thing once again with the bags like you'd be surprised of uh of people buying these bags so all sorts of bags just have at least one up on the auction house in some cases, like in Cataclysm, you want to take a look at it and see if it's worth to craft like multiple Ember Silk bags, for instance. And yes, I'm fully aware it's a 22 slot. You can buy a higher slot bag cheaper than the Ember Silk bag, but people still buy the Ember Silk bags. Just trust me, give it a go. Uh, but once again, like spell treads, like Leg en en uh, Enchantment also craft those for like every profession shield spikes with blacksmithing you have to craft them just don't just craft the transmog and um uh, if you look at northrend as well like these ebon weave moon shroud spell weave it's great profit and that is if you take into consideration that i have to pay 178 gold each eternal fire which i don't i will just buy it from the vendor using frozen orb so i'll make an even bigger profit crafting spell weave so these are absolutely great then the list just keeps on going like every single expansion for every single profession is gonna have a lot of these like methods to make gold uh crafting it into stuff like even these spell treads right here like every spell tread just make them put them up on the auction house sell them and i can promise you you're gonna make a lot of gold and they usually sell way faster than the transmog items alone so it's like a, a nice way to motivate yourself to keep on going with crafted transmog is by also crafting these materials and yes you could say that you're just like crafting the even better material putting it up on the auction house selling it to your competition but those people are going to craft those items regardless so the question is just do you want to be the guy selling and making a profit on the materials or is it going to be somebody else because if somebody wants to craft these items 
uh, like these transmit items to sell them, they're going to buy the materials regardless. If it is not available, they have to buy the basic mats and craft it into the more complex material. Uh, people are just lazy. They would rather just buy out the moon cloth from the auction house rather than buying the fella cloth, turning it into the moon cloth before they make their transmog item. Because all they really care about, people use TSM, they open up TSM, uh, they go to gathering and they select like their crafter, and then they just uh, buy every material listed on the auction house uh, needed. They don't necessarily buy the cheaper materials and do the material crafting themselves, if that makes sense. Uh, but that's it. That's all I wanted to say in this very short video. So hopefully that's going to be to help of some of you guys. And if you want more details on crafting, like if you want the whole shebang smacked in your face, make sure to check out the uh, 0 to 10 million go guide, the complete crafting guide is in there, including this uh, that I just mentioned. But that's it for now, so thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all back in on tomorrow's video. But until then, bye-bye.